Firearms are dangerous. They should only be handled by responsible adults under proper adult supervision. Please, don't try any of this at home. Hello, and welcome to the season finale for Will It Stop a Bullet? I'm your host, Adam Carson. Behind us, as usual, is our rotator plate cameraman, Will. Hey. Now, today we will be taking aim at a microwave. My microwave. She was a good microwave, but sadly she is no longer with us. She's, uh, she carried me through some pretty tough times, through Hot Pockets and popcorn and TV dinners, the occasional CD, which didn't kill her, by the way. But, sadly, she's now in heaven. One could say that she's a holy microwave. Well, if she isn't, she's about to be. Let's go shoot this thing. Now, the microwave puts me to an epic proportion. Uses radio waves to excite the water molecules inside of the food or other objects to basically cause them to move, excite, and then for create heat. From coffee to ramen noodles, all works the same way. For maximum effect today, we will be taking aim from the side, not the front. So we'll be shooting, cutting through the controller or any other circuitry that's behind the keypad. Possibly hitting the magnetron, going through the center container, and out the other side, possibly. This uh, heating container, or whatever you want to call it, designed to help block these waves from escaping from the microwave. Let's see if they have what it takes to stop a bullet. Alright. Here we go. Let's do multiple shots. Let's see what happened. Let's do multiple shots. Alright. Well, she went in. Looks like she actually deflected in there a little bit. Well, whoa. We had a penetration, but we didn't actually hit the jug. My bad. It'll be the one on the far left. But the other two, who apparently got stuck up in the magnetron, and therefore did not exit, and therefore. If you happen to be standing by the Magnetron with 9mm, you're probably a little happier. Alright. I'm pretty sure this one's going to make it through, though. Wasser 10. Clear. Well, that's interesting. Again, went in the side, but did not penetrate. Huh. Sounds like we got a little bit of loose rounds there in the bottom, but... Case, I mean, but uh, as you can see, no penetration. Kind of smells funny, though. Maybe it's the Hot Pocket. This is slow. I think I got it. Now, there's a couple of things I'd like to point out here. First, yes, it went through, and our jug is unhappy. Let's take a look on the inside. Yeah, she went through all right. Now, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna show you something interesting here. See this odd dent that appeared here? That is likely the wadding behind the shotgun. Um, the actual uh, slug. Even the, just the wadding was enough to bang that thing in. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for watching uh, Will Stop Bullet, our show. I'd like to thank my cameraman, Will, and hope to see you back for season two. Wrote, rate, comment, and all the other stuff. Have a wonderful summer.